hãy đến ngay với chúng tôi này Five Star English cùng vào lớp Anh ngữ năm sao này We got what you need Hi there, are you ready for a quick test? Don't worry, there's only two questions. So here's the first question. How do you say chai in English? Did you say run? Wow, zai qua, you got it. Chai is run in English. But here's my second question. How do you say run in Vietnamese? Did you say chai? Well, you're not exactly correct. But before I tell you why, uh, I want to give you a few examples because the answer is actually, I don't know. So let's see from these examples if you can tell me why I don't know is the correct answer. I got punched in the nose and now blood is running down my face. In this context, can you say that running means chai? No, doesn't make any sense, right? Run here would mean chai. What about this sentence? My dream is to run a billion dollar business. It's a great dream, right? But does run in this situation mean chai? If you think about the context, it doesn't make any sense, right? We can't translate words one by one. Uh, to say like dog is con chó, cat con mèo, uh, elephant con voi. Uh, if we translate like this, we're going to be wrong for a lot of words uh, in English and also Vietnamese. How about this situation? I'm a doctor. My parents are doctors too. Medicine runs in my family. Would you say thuốc chạy trong gia đình tôi? Does that make any sense? Of course not. So. If you say that run always means chai, that's not true. If you use Google Translate, this will also tell you the same thing. So what is wrong with Google? Why, why is Google translating this incorrectly? It's because Google is not thinking about context. Context is the, the most important thing you need to consider when you're learning a language. So obviously this is wrong. Uh, so we need to, to look at these examples and think about the situation that we're in, not just looking at one word and translating it to Vietnamese. So in this sentence, uh, let's go back to this example, but look at a different word, this word dream. How do you say dream in Vietnamese? Well, Maybe you're saying in this situation, dream means look ma. Okay, I agree with you because in this context, we're talking about something that you hope for your future or something that you hope for your life. So now as a Vietnamese learner myself, I want to, to make a sentence like this. Last night I had a dream where I could swim on the road. So how do I translate it to Vietnamese? So without context, I would translate it like this. Đêm hôm qua tôi ước mơ có thể bơi trên đường. Is that, is that okay? No, it's not okay. So why? Well, because I didn't think about context. I just learned by translating one word at a time. I said, okay, dream means ước mơ. And when I learned that way, I believe that every time I see the word dream, it always means ước mơ. But for you as a native speaker of Vietnamese, you recognize that this is wrong, right? But for me, how do I know? If I don't learn in context, I'm going to be wrong a lot. And the same goes for you studying English. So if I learn this way, it's really not a, a good way to learn any language. So we can't do this. We need context. So a better way is to see the situation and write it down in my book like this. If I want to translate, I need a full sentence. I need context. How about this word, da? How do you say da in English? Well, if you remember the first example, the answer is again, I don't know. So why don't we know? Well, sometimes da can mean rock. Sometimes da can mean ice. Sometimes da can mean kick or shoot. What about this example, đi bao? For me, as a, as a foreigner, when I learn Vietnamese and I hear đi bao, my habit is to translate this one word at a time. 
So I think, oh, okay, go and storm. But if I learn this way without context, I'm gonna think I need to get my raincoat because there's a storm outside. I, I don't know that it actually means this, you know, Vietnam Vô Dick, Vietnam Vô Dick. Uh, but since I live in Vietnam, I was able to experience this. I was in the situation and I heard Di Bao and I didn't have to think in, in English at all. I just connect the word with the idea, with the feeling, with the experience. This is a much, much better way to learn. You don't need to translate if you have context. So next time you're learning a word and you're trying to translate it uh, back to Vietnamese or you're trying to translate a Vietnamese word to English, don't just use Google Translate and trust that Google Translate is correct. Well, you're probably missing something with context. So instead of translating through Google, my advice is to use a dictionary that gives you examples of the word used in context. And the one that I like is Glossby. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was useful for you. My name is Brandon Sinkovic, and I'm a teacher at Atlantic Five Star English. And currently we have some classes running online. So if you'd like to find out more about those classes, you can go to ag5star.vn. And I hope to see you in class. Bye-bye. You gotta wash your hands and rub, rub, rub. Don't put them on your eyes.